Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you guys how to set up Kden Live, a free video editor on Windows. If you've already heard of Kden Live before this video, there's a good chance you've used it on Linux. Um, so Kden Live is pretty solid overall. It still is a bit buggy on Linux, uh, on Windows, sorry. And um, they are working on constantly patching it. Hopefully the next Windows release will come out pretty soon. But uh, you can definitely go ahead and download the Windows test version uh, right now and go ahead and get it installed. So in order to do this, we're going to need to grab a couple files. The first is the Kden Live Windows build, and the second is FFmpeg, um, which are basically a, a collection of different uh, DLLs and executables that help process video files. And uh, we'll start by going over to the KDE servers page here. So this is going to have some links for, uh, or mirrors rather, for downloading Kden Live. So you want any of these that will say 16.12.1 or whatever the latest version is. Hopefully there's a later version by the time you're watching this. Uh, dash W64, that's Windows 64. Go ahead and download that. should be about 115 megabytes. And then you also want to grab this link, FFmpeg shared 64-bit build. Once you have those two files, um, well, they'll be in your downloads most likely, so I have these here. I'm going to go ahead and extract the contents. So using 7-zip, uh, extract here, and we'll do that for both of them. So Kden Live, extract here. Do And it does take a little bit of time, because uh, obviously it's 115 megabyte plus uh, file or program, and that's when it's zipped, so it's probably actually more afterwards. And what I would say is uh, we actually want to move this to where we want it on a computer beforehand, and then we'll create the shortcut later. So I'm going to put this in program files, so just copy and paste it in there, and or move it rather, move is probably what we're looking for. And if you want to rename it, that's fine too. So Kden Live, obviously it's the Windows version because we're running Windows. Now we're going to need to change a couple uh, things inside of this uh, folder. So as per the instructions on the site, we want to copy the contents of the bin directory into this folder. Not the bin directory itself. Uh, I made that mistake too. So let's see here. Uh, FFmpeg bin, everything in this folder, copy it, and we'll go back to the folder, so Kden Live, wherever you put it, and paste it inside of here, okay, should look something like that, and now, ideally, we also want to throw in the presets, and we want to throw in the entire folder, not just the contents of the presets, so it's different than the bin, and we'll go back to where we have Kden Live installed to, and I'm going to paste that folder in. Uh, now, theoretically, it should work all right. I'm going to try to find the executable file. But before we launch it, I'm going to create a shortcut as well. You don't have to do this, but I think it's probably a good idea. Um, so let's drag that shortcut to the desktop. And you can see that it doesn't have an icon. So first, I'm going to rename it. And then we're going to give it an icon by right-clicking, going to Properties change icon so it says there's basically no default icon so you can pick whatever you want uh, it doesn't even have to be from this you could download an icon off the internet if you want uh, the one i like to go for is this one kind of looks like a floppy disk um, so i'll apply that and if everything went well then i should be able to click here and the program will load and we shouldn't get an error message it should say that uh, or there shouldn't be any comment on how ff impact wasn't able to load so we have this here using the basic theme. Um, if you did get a pop-up saying like warnings or error messages, make sure that it doesn't say that FFmpeg is missing. If it does, then there's a good chance uh, we, we messed up a little bit on the instructions. Remember, the contents of bin go directly into the Kden Live folder, and the presets folder goes into the Kden Live folder with everything else included inside there. And what we have with Kden Live is a free video editor. It has a lot of different effects over here. Um, it, it is a little bit tricky to use, I would say, over something like Adobe Premiere, just in that the interface isn't quite as slick. 
And if you want to do extra things like record inside of the program, like you can show um, control record there and you can capture video or audio while you're within Caden Live. Uh, it, it is a little bit trickier to set up, but what you get here is a pretty cool video editor. It works really well on Linux, and I'm hoping in the future uh, patches for the Caden Live Windows that when they do come out with an official release rather than the test release, that it will be, um, you know, pretty dang solid because there's actually not that many video editors out there I would consider good right now. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes in the future. Hope that helped you get Caden Live set up and installed on Windows. And I've been Chris, so I will see you guys in my future video content.